Section 7.3, modeling data using exponential functions. We're going to represent data using an exponential function and interpret the graph to solve results. So we're going to be using Excel for this. So here's our first problem we're going to do. The population of Canada from 1871 to 1971 is shown in this table. In the third column, the values have been rounded. So in 1871, this was the population. In 1971, we're at 21.57 million. Wow. So some of you might know human population does undergo exponential growth. So we're going to graph this. So what I've done is I've Instead of putting the year, I put the year since 1871, and the population, I use those rounded um, values. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the information I want. I'm going to go to Insert, and I'm going to make a scatter plot. So now I have this beautiful, beautiful graph. Okay, I'm going to go to Layout. I'm going to add a trend line, more trend line options. I want it to be exponential, and I want to display my equation. Okay. So this is my equation right here, and this might not look the same as we've done as the form, but they've done something silly here. So 2.6689, that is my value of A, and my B value is E to the power of 0 0.0215. And E is a special number in math. It is um, a number, there we go. It is a number that represents, it's, it's 2.7, well, let's look at this, E is the value, let's see if it'll give us, is 2.718, okay? So if I want to know, it told us that my B value is E to the power of, let's look back in Excel here, E to the power of 0 0.0215, 0 0.0215. So that really is just the value of, I think I messed that up, whoops, 0.0215. Did I get that? 0.0215. Okay, so my value of B is really 1.0217. Okay, so in other words, I could rewrite the equation for this as um, a function of x such that x is equal to 2.668 and then we said that number was 1.02 to the power of x. So this is the equation that I'm going to use. Then what I can do is I can sub in different values. So it says estimate the population in 2011. Well, 2011 minus 1871, how many years have gone by? What I would do is take my calculator. I would go 2011 minus 1871. I would see that 140 years had gone by. And then to estimate, I would just put 140 in for x. Okay, so very similar to what we've done before. Um, here's another example. Sonia did an experiment to determine the cooling curve of water. She placed the same volume of hot water in three identical cups. She recorded the temperature of the water and cooled over time. Here's her data. So I'm going to enter all of this information into Excel and look at the graph. So here I have all the information entered in. I am going to insert a scatter plot, and then I would like to put my trend line. I can see that this is exponential. So I also see that it is decay, and I see that my y-intercept is somewhere around 78, 76, something like that. So I should see a fraction in the B position, and um, in the A position, I think I should see around 70. Eight or so. Okay, so let's try this. More trend line options, exponential, and we are displaying. Okay, so 78, look, that was my um, intercept. And now it did that funny thing again where it gives it this E value. And I don't know, I've looked and searched and I, I can't get this to be a regular number. So maybe you can figure that out. But it's E to the power of negative 0 0.029. E to the power of negative. 0.029. Okay, 
And lo and behold, that's a fraction, which is what we guessed it would be because the, it is decreasing. Okay, so, um, and now the questions are going to go on and they're going to say estimate what happens 15 minutes after. Well, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to put in the number 15 in my equation and put in the number 15 there, and it's going to spit out an answer. So when you do get this trend line, do spend the time finding out what e to the power of whatever it is, because it's easier to enter it in that way. Um, your calculator will have an e button on it uh, if you have a more advanced calculator, or you'll have to go on the computer and look it up. But you'll be on the computer using Excel anyways. Okay. Um, now this one says estimate when it was 30. So then in my equation, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put 30 in here, and then I'm going to have to guess and check what that is. The other thing I could do is I could see that, well, 30 is here, so I'm guessing the time is somewhere between 30 and 40 seconds. Okay, so that will, or minutes rather, that will help me um, estimate and, and then I can guess and check using my estimation to find the exact value. Okay, so let's just go over some key ideas here. Graphing technology can be used to create a scatter plot. When the scatter plot looks exponential, exponential regression can be used. It models growth when b is greater than 1, so we have a, a number that is in a fraction in the v position. The y values grow, um, increase as you move from left to right. Right? It's a decay if you have a fraction or a decimal less than 1. Okay, uh, here's the model where a represents the initial value or that intercept. B represents the growth factor or the decay factor. An exponential curve of best fit can be used to predict values that are not recorded or plotted. Predictions can be used made by reading values from the curve of best fit or by using the equation that we made.